All right, guys, I'm going to make a video about lorazepam because I haven't really talked much about uh, lorazepam. All my videos have been about the pregabalin so far. So let's get to it. The lorazepam I was prescribed for originally was just as a kind of, the doctor described it as a break glass in case of emergency kind of situation. Whereas uh, as I was waiting for the pregabalin to, to build up and, and get to work, the lorazepam were there just in case, in case I, I felt too tense or, you know, I needed, I needed a, uh, a kind of instant relief, uh, from the anxiety. So I was prescri prescribed that and he originally prescribed me 10, 10 tablets, um, just, just as a, like, as and when kind of thing. So, to begin with, I didn't take any of them for the first two weeks, I'd say, that I was on the pregabalin. I don't know whether it was a, a, a placebo effect, because after those two weeks, the pregabalin didn't, at the dose I was on, which was 25 milligrams, uh, excuse me, didn't seem to do much. So I was um, upped to 50 milligrams, as I explained on my other video, and that seemed, that seemed to improve things a little bit. Um temporarily then I was up to 75 milligrams and it was at that point strangely that I started to need to take the the benzos the lorazepam which are benzodiazepines I started to take them a little bit more uh, I don't know whether it was because the initial kind of um, sedation or whatever that the pregabalin was giving me had worn off uh, if I just got accustomed to it, or what it was, but I don't know. So when I when I went up to seventy five milligrams, I was taking at least one every two days of the lorazepam. Uh, and as I as I've moved up now, I've gone up to the hundred and fifty milligrams of pregabalin. I haven't taken any. I've still got. If I can find a box here, uh, I'll just have to double check how many I've actually got left. So I've still got six. I don't know if you can see the light's pretty terrible. I've still got six there that I haven't used. Um, and that was of ten that I was prescribed again on my last checkup, which was uh, a week and a half ago. I'm actually due back at the doctor's this week. Uh, so I'll see what he says about these because I know, even though they have been helping me, and I've, I've taken them now and again, I don't want to... To rely on them, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really want them to be honest, because I know that if they're there, uh, I'm going to take them, regardless of whether you know I necessarily really need them or not, uh, and I know they're a bad thing to to get hooked to. These are only one milligram though, so they're not too bad. But yeah, lorazepam to summarize, better than diazepam, which I have had in the past. And I didn't really feel like that did much. It wasn't the uh, the sedation wasn't really enough, I'd say. For me personally, I, I know they're, they're good for a lot of other people and, and people have had good experiences with them, but not me personally. But the Lorazepam are like, are like a nice... Uh, they do take the edge off. But as I said, I don't want to have to rely on these. I, I don't want them to be permanently part of of my... Uh, my medication and I know they don't get prescribed long term anyway so I don't think there's any real danger with that but yeah I'm going to try and keep these just in case of emergency so yeah that's my that's my experience with lorazepam so far uh, I'll check in in another week or so just to give you another update about the pregabalin uh, I hope these videos are, are helping you somehow I hope they're at least informing uh you if you if you're thinking about going on to this or if you're not sure about it or if you just like I don't know learning about things but yeah hopefully these are these are slightly informative uh, if anything so yeah just leave me a comment let me know let me know uh, what you think and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a week goodbye